first game in the first game in the post Wi-Fi era here in MDVA at the cave. Orpheus versus Loco Lobo game one. Looks like this might be nope. We're gonna get right into it here on town and city. Ain't no button checks need to here. We've got all this time. We all prepared for that. All right, so we see Orf is starting off looking for this edge guard. He's giving a good amount of pressure with the with the gyro and the laser. I kind of like the defensive play the local sound starting off. Kind of trying to like, use the uh, the corridor to kind of maybe paint certain approach to Orpheus here. But right now it's just locked in. He's, he, he came out ready to swing here. That's all Absolutely, Orf Orpheus came ready. He's going to try that arm rotor. It's going to get the very tail hit, end of that hitbox. With the arm rotor hitting. Up B from Local Lobo. Misses the F tilt. All right, setting up that Gordo. That active hit by this Gordo comes back and hits Local Lobo right in the face. And there gets get clipped by the laser. Here comes the edge guard from Orf. Setting up with the gyro. Great use of the F smash. And Orf is going to take first stock here at the first offline tournament in 15 months. How about that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, Orpheus keeping this pressure on here. Yeah, take control of center stage. It looks very important to have also on such a unique character who kind of can't float around for a bit, but I mean, we've, all, we've all seen what Rob can do online. online Absolutely. You know? Oh, great spacing from Orpheus. Avoids that down air and uh, perfect answer with the, with the up with the with the arm rotor. It was to avoid the, uh, the uh, almost had the, uh, the uh, I guess, the uh, vegetation there with the laser, but not doing it just there for a loco. All right, yeah, great job. We, you see Orpheus very experienced with his edge guarding here, setting up that gyro, looking for that, looking for that back air, so safe on shield. I like that uh, the use of the armor that being there from uh, Lobo there to recover there. And catches uh, Orf with the bounce off of the platform there. Yeah, but still Orpheus looking pretty good here. Has already Local Lobo up to 117 now. We see what Local can, uh, so, so far, the momentum is back in his favor, so it seems to be, everything seems to be hitting at the moment. All right, so local over just look, uh, well may, that might have been a uh, missed info and that gets out that grab to the convert the up smash. Here is up smash, man. Tried and true. All right, F tilt local over looking at the edge guard. <laughs> I like the I like the attempt on the B reverse there for the uh, for the giant hammer. What's it doing there? Unfortunately. And we're right now just trying to kid just trying to carry him right yeah, across the stage. Yeah, looking to keep this pressure on. That's, he sets a neutral, get, gets inhaled. But again, that active hitbox of the Gordo coming back to fight Local Lobo here. No, not on Town and City, but that, nope, still good DI there. Alright, now Local Lobo looking for the edge guard here. See if you can get this back air. Nope. Just, oh, oh. oh you saw that gyro. You don't want to get caught between gyro and hard place. Looks a little bit scary there for Local Lobo. Not yet, just yet here. Lobo's got to need something quick here to bring this back here. Ooh, just the raw arm rotor, and that's an easy punish. Didn't drop shield there, Gripple Local Lobo. It's a very deceptive move at times. You can catch a lot of people unsuspecting sometimes. This isn't impossible, but it's going to be very tough here for Local. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at his edge guard. Oh, was like expecting the roll there. Was trying to answer the up smash, but not quite. But the arm rotor is going to connect, and nope. Dead just yet. Snipe's yeah. not going to kill just yet either. Avoids the gyro. Avoids the back here. Gets back to stage here. 100% on uh, 37. How long Orpheus now? Excuse me. All right. Still, Orpheus just chipping this damage on. Has, has stage control right now. See, going high, Orpheus is, but... Gets, connects with the laser. Oh, oh wow, that that didn't. Oh, oh. No. that's so unfortunate there. The uh, the laser hit the uh, the Gordo back at him here. He's got the stage here. Yeah, this is gonna be a regrab. Has to be careful. Oh wow, an unfortunate slide out of that arm rotor, but that you're gonna uh. land on top of Orpheus, and that is the Rob up smash. Orpheus takes game one. How was that for a first match back? Yeah. That was real nice. I like that. No, I mean, Logo Lobo was definitely in it, coming, making a little bit of a comeback towards the end there. But Orpheus, you know, that uh, landing on Rob, that up smash just covers so much ground. 
just a quick clarification from our TO here about the uh, list of stages available. So yeah. We are rocking with Small Battlefield here. Yes, absolutely. Obviously, Small Battlefield was not a thing <laughs> the last time we were in person, so very true. we have to get some clarification on these rules here. So, But Small Battlefield is indeed going to be the stage here for this game number two. No character changes. We'll run it right back. We'll see if the adjustment on the platform, with static platforms at that, can make a difference here for, for local to try and bump back into this. All right, connects with the laser just to start things off here. All right, good back air there. And he's got... Orph was a little caught on that platform there, but... Oh, still gets clipped by that gyro. He's just hanging out on that on that left side platform. The bounce from the, from the laser put him back into... Uh, back into because of the gyro there. That was impressive. Yeah, so these... So these platforms are kind of low, but we're seeing, okay, um, we're seeing Orpheus being pretty liberal here with the arm rotor, but Loco Loco has been doing a pretty good job defending it so far. Now, I wonder if the switch is small battlefield for Loco was because, like, the Aegis Hammer, you know, it's, it's got pretty hit up on it and stuff, right? So, we are trying to cover the platforms with, 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 uh, with us smash, maybe with a giant Oh, smash. arm rotor gets interrupted by the Gordo there. How, how's that for the new CRP day? <laughs> Great call out up smash there. Oh, it's a good blood trap set up here, and he's gonna land that F smash. All right, gets the inhale here. Sorry about that, folks. All right, so the local here taking the first stock here for game two. That's already off to a good start for him. There coming out from from Orpheus, trying to avoid that inhale. Looking for this kill here, trying to be being a little bit too aggressive here for uh maybe for his own sake. But you know, catches the uh with the neutral air there. That down air to up air is going to convert. And Loco right now looking a completely different player from game one here, just Absolutely. out here smoothing now. Absolutely, has not lost a stock here. Full rage at 150. percent oh, I can't say that now, Mel. No one cursing now, can we? Very very correct here, but still. Still laying on this damage. Mm -hmm. As looking for the edge guard is going to get the snipe with the Gordo. Wow, that kill too? He was at what, 87 when that hit? I, or I guess in the blast zones, I guess it makes sense, but Loco just completely turned it around here with the with, with the three stock match. Yeah, very impressive. Game number two there by Loco Lobo, so. How long uh, was that match? What did it say? What's it, what's it, what's it say on the stream? Uh, that was, I mean, it went too fast. It went too fast. It may be at least under three minutes, I so want to say. Game three here. We got our first game three already. Mm -hmm. uh, so going to be FD. And we're going to keep it right back here. We're going to go for pivotal game three. Let's, let's get going out here. Absolutely. So game, so game three between Orpheus and Loco Lobo. Winner of this will take on the winner of Ramsey and Ina Tutter. That's a name right there. I had to very liberally pronounce that name. <laughs> now, I wonder how they uh, switch for no platforms now is going to affect maybe, uh, I guess both characters, maybe more so Loco than uh, than Orpheus here. Because we saw Loco kind of use the platforms for uh, for Gordo bounces and stuff that we saw in the last game, a little bit on uh, Town City the first time around. Right now, Orpheus is trying to just pretty much like keep away from uh, from Loco. Use kind of those long robot limbs to uh, you know, keep the giant penguin with the hammer at bay here, you know? Yeah, we're seeing you know, we're seeing Loco put on this pressure right now, as off stage, but Orf able to recover and get stage control back. All right, gets gets that back air. Looking for the looking for the like setup with Gyro. Yeah, a little bit of a trade there with the with the back air. Did not drop shield. Good for Lobo here. Looking for the condition for the kill off stage here. Gets drop recovery. All right, we'll barely get that F tilt. Uh oh. Ooh, Good just that laser. barely, almost a clip by that. Ooh, that long hitbox of the back air. Still connects with Loco. Still connects with Loco. Good air dots get around it too, and great spot dots to get around the uh, the forward smash there. All right, parries the laser. Oh, <laughs> wow! Wow! Just pixels away from getting clipped by that. That's crazy. Absolutely. So the second to be here at the edge. Wow, Loco Lobo is doing great job spacing around that up smash. He knows it's coming. Mm -hmm. 
Clark still hanging it. Yep, that's a regrab. Two that's frame. A, yep. And that looks like a loco right now. It seems to be uh, after that switch here, although yep. the uh, the berry uh, near the up air there from uh, from Orpheus you know, even stocks back up at least. Absolutely. So Orpheus just kind of looking to just get some sort of momentum back here. Look at that nair. I'm really liking how both of kind of using the projectiles, you know, to uh. This was coming for. I guess not. Not always well, create space to some degree, you know. But uh, you know, kind of guess force and bait approaches out from a certain direction, you know. It's kind of point of oh, other projectile. Get caught up high with that up air. Not oh, gonna kill just yet. Yes, man. Slightly, the maybe a little over anxious on that one there. That down air, big body. It's a Morpheus. big target for Orif, but does not get the arm rotor. Good di down from Loco Lobo to avoid that. Inhales the laser, sends it right back. It's looking really even here for this game three here. Both players looking really solid here. Backer, wow, that kills, even with the eye. Yeah. Is that, what, 93 when that hit? Isn't that some? Well, regardless, that gives Local over the lead, looking to take this game number three here. Mm hmm. See, Orpheus can uh, muster the comeback here. All right, gets the inhale. But so gets far, some great adaptation from Loco for, uh, it's gonna change the playstyle up. It's that up tilt to up air from Morpheus. He's got to take this. Oh, wow, a weird interaction in it. Not going to kill just yet, but it's, it's real dangerous here for Orpheus here. You can't get hit a couple more times here. Can't wa you got to watch the uh, the vertical blast zones here. Yeah, you're seeing that, you know, Local Lobo has been using this inhale very well. He's going to get caught by the arm rotor, but it's not going to be enough to take the stock. Orpheus needs to take the stock quick. No gyro available yet, and now it's back for Orpheus. Good cancel there. Mm -hmm. Crap back on the ledge because that was going to be an easy punish. Otherwise, the, oh, gets hit with the down here, but not the sweet spot of the hitbox. It reads the match perfectly. Gets connected with the laser kill. Wow. I guess a 160. All right, that gives the last stock situation here. But Orp has got he's got to play real patient and real comfortable here. Can't be doing uh, mistakes like that there. He can run, run running into the gyro there, unfortunately. Right. Looking to see. gets a couple of down tilts there. Goes some percent up. Until the up air. We're gonna have about a two to one the percentage lead at the moment here oh, for a. Uh, Orf is making a bit of a run here. Gets a grab, has full control right now. Reflects it with the jet with the <laughs> with the rotor arms. That is tough to get that reflect Ooh. hitbox in the arm rotor. Oh, just drop shield. Gets hit by that Gordo. Looking real close Very out close here. here. One solid conversion is gonna oh. do it for both players. Wow, oh, the gyro the saves gyro him. Saves him. And that's wow, off the top. It. Yep. And local Lobo with the reverse 2 0 here. Looking very solid for that, uh, for game three. Oh, the good credit to Orpheus, too, you know. Kept it real close, especially at the end of that last stock there. Absolutely. Local Lobo will move on on winner's side to take on Remzi. And how about that for your first game back?